Hey everybody, this is Elson from the IoT Projects.com and in this video we will learn to make a very useful Alexa home automation system using Node MCU and Arduino IoT Cloud. To make this project, we don't need any Alexa device like Eco Dot. You just use the Amazon Alexa app on your smartphone. We just need a Node MCU ESP8266 board, a 4 channel relay module, few switches light bulb with the holder and some wires. Now before moving on to the further details, let me show you how this Alexa home automation using Node MCU and Arduino IoT cloud work. Alexa, turn on switch 1. Ok. Alexa, turn on switch 2. Ok. Alexa, turn on switch 3. Ok. Alexa, turn off switch 1. Ok. You can also control it manually from the Amazon Alexa app. So here you can see, I can easily control the switches from this Amazon Alexa app. Beside this, you can also control the switches from Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard using your laptop PC or smartphone as well. You just need to download the Arduino IoT Remote app from the Play Store or App Store to control your home appliances using a smartphone. And furthermore, you can also control your home appliances manually using these switches and this works even if the Wi-Fi connectivity is not available. And these features comes in handy when there is no internet or smartphone in your hand. So without doing further delay, let's get started. To make this project, you will need Node MCU ESP8266 development board, 4 channel relay module, 4 switches, 1 5 pin socket, 3 or 4 light bulb with holder, few meter wires. Now to assemble this circuit, you need to use this circuit diagram and the pin connection table. As you can see, there are lots of wires used in this project for connecting the components. So, I recommend you to use a custom designed PCB for this project. You can download the Garbar file of this PCB from the description of this video and you can order your own custom PCB from pcbway.com and you can get 10 custom PCBs just at $5. You can order any custom PCB from PCB way with this simple step. First choose the size and quantity of your PCB, then upload the Gerber file. Now select the parameter like quantity, PCB maxing color and then place your order. Now it's time to set up the Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard, so go to the Arduino store and click on the IoT Cloud. Then you need to create a thing first. For that click on add variable. Now name the variable anything like switch 1. In the variable type select the Amazon Alexa compatible switch. So an automatic declaration of variable will be done. And then click on add variable button to create the first variable. Similarly create the other three variables with the name switch 2, switch 3 and switch 4. Now we need to configure a device as well. For that select the device option from the list. Now select the third party device and then select ESP8266. From the list select the Node MCU 1.0 ESP2LE module. Click on the continue and give any name to your device. For this tutorial I am giving Smart Home. Now click on the next. So the device ID and secret key is created here. Save the device ID for coding part or simply download the PDF file which has the information of secret key then click on the continue button. Now again you need to set up the network credential. So input your SSID, password and the secret key that you have created earlier and finally everything is set now. So now go to the dashboard, here we will build a dashboard for controlling our relay. 
from the edit option add a variable now select the switch option and give it a name switch one and then click on the link a variable option to link the variable switch one and similarly add three more variables for three different switches and link the variables to them you can arrange and resize the widget according to your wish so finally we are done with the iot dashboard setup now let's move to the sketch part so there are four variables with cloud switch automatically declared in the code in the setup part we have defined four pins of esp8266 as output those four pins are d1 d2 d5 and d6 and we have used the input pull up function in the code instead of using pull up register for each switch connected to the gpio st3 d3 d7 and rx pin so we initialize the relay with the high logic so that all the appliances are turned off initially button config is used to control the appliances manually using switches and it is useful when there is no internet connectivity to control this system as per the source code when the control pins of the relay module receive the low signal the respective relay will turn on and the relay will turn off for the high signal in the control pin so here is the complete code that you can use for this project simply copy this project code and paste it on your arduino iot cloud now to upload the code using arduino iot cloud we need to install an agent to flash the code directly from the browser so follow the instruction on your screen to install the agent once the driver is installed the com port will be appear now select the esp8266 node mcu board from the list and its com port as well then upload the code it will take some time to upload the code and when it's done some upload success message will appear after uploading the code open the serial monitor it will show wi-fi connection is established and device is connected to the arduino iot cloud dashboard now you can open the dashboard and see that switch can be turned on and off and you can do the initial testing as well so here we can send the command to see whether onboard led from the relay will turn on or not you can control the light bulb from the mobile dashboard as well for that you need to install the arduino iot cloud remote application from the play store and sign in using the same email address and password and open the dashboard to control your appliances easily besides this you can also manually control the appliances using the manual switches now to configure the amazon alexa app first install it from play store now open the app and log in or sign up with the necessary credential now go to the devices tab and you can see no devices is connected so tap on more select skill and games here search for arduino now choose the first option to enable it it may ask you some arduino iot credential if necessary after that you will find that arduino has been successfully linked now under the devices section you can see the new device discover call switches just tap to open it and control your home appliances using this amazon alexa beside this you can also command the alexa to control these switches alexa turn on switch 3 okay alexa turn off switch 1 okay so here is the demo of this home automation project that's all for today catch you soon on the next one